You know, this really sounds like a scene from an Alfred Hitchcock movie, but the birds in Arkansas are not part of a Hollywood thriller. They are actually real, and it's a real mystery now because preliminary autopsies have been conducted on some 2,000 blackbirds who just fell dead from the sky just before midnight on New Year's Eve. The birds landed on the streets, lawns, also rooftops, over a one-mile-long stretch of Beatty, Arkansas, and according to officials there, the birds died because of multiple blunt trauma to their vital organs. NBC's Ron Blom joins us now live from BB Arkansas to explain. So, Ron, you spoke with the mayor there a short time ago. Are they any closer to determining the exact cause of this really bizarre in incident? Because everybody's left scratching their head over this. Well, the, Thomas, the answer is elusive, but it's to be found in the laboratory. Actually, we were at the State Livestock Commission this morning when the state veterinarian and his assistants were doing the necropsy on the birds. They had 17 of them there, and every one of them showed bruising or hemorrhaging to the liver or to the heart in the bird. Now, they explained that and, and they were even pulling out very small samples of blood clots and saying that's about half of the bird's blood supply there. So these are very... Uh, lightweight birds. They don't have a lot of blood, and apparently they had some kind of impact. Well, what happened? Well, we don't really know. Some speculation is, is perhaps there was a, 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 an updraft or some kind of vortex in the sky, and we had this massive mid-air collision. These birds do tend to fly in flocks, and they land in flocks. In fact, most of them live in the woods right behind me, right behind the home of Faye and Charles Moore. And Faye, you went out New Year's Eve with the new puppy to take it out to do its, its moment, and what <laughs> right. did you hear? Right. I heard a poof and the birds flew up and chattered I could hear their wings I couldn't see anything I turned and immediately stared at the sky there was no lightning no thunder no fireworks but another poof and uh, whooshing sound and then I went back inside and in the morning you went out to get the morning paper yes I did my normal routine I uh, before I went out, I, I looked out the window and I uh, saw uh, several black objects in the yard. And I thought, well, those don't look like uh, bottle rockets from New Year's Eve that I normally see, maybe. And so I walked out and I saw 12 to 15, and I said, wait a minute, what is this? And they were dead blackbirds. And there were no live ones there. And uh, I just couldn't believe it. I, I didn't touch the birds at all because... Uh, I didn't know what had happened to them, what brought them down. I looked out in the cul-de-sac and on down the street, and the street was just littered with them. And yesterday and, and a little bit the day before, your neighborhood looked like a science fiction movie. The people in the E.T. moon suits were walking around <laughs> picking up dead birds. Yes, and the hazmat uh, suits with, with gas masks and all that. They had the masks. We didn't. And we were standing right out there with them, which was rather interesting. So. But they explained that was protocol that they right. had to do it. Now, the state veterinarian told us today that the stomachs and the birds were empty, so they ruled out poisoning. Right. All they can think of is that there was a collision. When these birds take off, do they go off in mass when something happens? Yes, they do, very definitely. The sky is black with birds. Uh, uh, so and since the incident, is it still black with birds? I haven't seen them since the, since the incident. Have it's, you seen them? It's birds? speckled with birds instead but, of black with But them. not the thousands. And in fact, Thomas, as we walked the power line clearing behind us here, we were still seeing some injured birds out there and many more bird bodies. Well, that's the feathered mystery from Arkansas. Back to you. All right, thanks so much. And the mystery continues. Hopefully we'll get some uh, answers uh, in the meantime here to come. NBC's Ron Blum. Thanks again, sir. Appreciate it.